In this video, we'll present the novel risk-aware model predictive path integral control using conditional value at risk. The original MPPI algorithm samples trajectories using a disturbance-free system. It then evaluates the costs for each of the simulated trajectories and assigns weights to them based on their costs. The optimal controls are obtained by taking the weighted average of all the simulated trajectories. However, since the MPPI uses deterministic dynamics and ignores potential disturbances, the robot tends to violate constraints while executing the controls. The proposed RAMPPI uses the conditional value at risk, aka CVAR, to account for risk induced by noise. The RAMPPI also samples many trajectories using the nominal system. For each trajectory, we evaluate the CVAR using the Monte Carlo sampling with a disturbed system and update the trajectory costs. The RAMPPI controller then computes the optimal controls using the updated trajectory costs. The resulting actual trajectories of the robots are less likely to experience collisions. Let us take a look at the cost mechanism behind the scene. When the variable x is deterministic, the cost cannot sense the potential dangers induced by disturbances. The dashed curve shows the cost profile. However, if x is stochastic, the CVAR evaluation process captures the worst case scenarios and alerts controller that getting too close may be risky. As we increase the confidence level alpha or decrease upper bound CU in CVAR constraint, the same distribution suffers from more severe penalty, thus pushing the random variable x towards safer regions. We carry out simulations and experiments on an autonomous racing platform using different types of noise. On average, the RAM PPI outperforms the baseline PPI in terms of collisions. Moreover, we use different alpha and CU values for RAM PPI and compare the resulting performance. From the heat map, we see that RAM PPI tends to perform better with high confidence level and smaller CU. To validate the proposed controller's real world performance, we also run experiments on the real car. The autonomous vehicle ex experiences real world disturbances such as control delay and inaccurate model, which causes the wiggling maneuvers in the video. We can see that MPPI frequently collide with boundaries. The RAM PPI achieves approximately the same lap time while significantly reduces the number of collisions. That's all for my presentation. Thank you.